Hey, it's Michelle here with your encouraging word for Wednesday. Today we're going to read from Jeremiah. I'm going to read Jeremiah 17, 7 through 8. It says, Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose trust is in the Lord. He is like a tree planted by water that sends out its roots by the stream and does not fear when heat comes for its leaves remain green and is not anxious in the year of drought for it does not cease to bear fruit those who trust in the lord are blessed i mean they are so blessed because if your trust is in the lord when the heat comes when trials come when heartache comes when frustration comes if our trust is in the lord we're going to be able to endure because we trust in the lord because we are not to carry our own burdens which is we are to cast our burdens on the lord because he cares for us and we do that by trusting the lord we trust the lord we give him our burdens as in, we don't try to figure this stuff out. We don't try to take on more than we can handle. We don't try to cause things to happen that are outside of our control when we place all of our trust on the Lord. No, that doesn't mean we just sit around and do nothing. No, we must absorb the word. We must be taken in the word, like, like food, like water, every single day so that it can bear fruit in our life how does it bear fruit through the fruit of the spirit love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness and self-control in order to display the fruit of the spirit in our life we have to be in the word of god right so it's just this cycle you know it's be in the word of god trust god bear fruit, be blessed, right? It's just this cycle that continues when we follow it. We can't just do it one time and think that we're going to be able to go through hard times, to go through difficult times with any grace, with, with any peace. If we are not completing and following that cycle always, we have to be engaged in our growth, in our spiritual growth, we must be a, a willing participant. I mean, we maybe if we're not willing, we definitely have to be a participant in our spiritual growth. We're not going to be able to just sit there and go through things that, especially that are hard, without putting in some effort. We have got to be in the Word of God. We have to be putting our trust in him. And listen, you are not going to trust him unless you know him. If you don't know the character of God, then why would you trust him? Like if you don't know that he's trustworthy, that he's faithful, that he's loving, that he's patient, that he's kind, that he's merciful, why would you trust him? You know, think about it in your own personal lives. You don't just immediately trust somebody right? You don't just put all of your trust in a person that you just met unless you want to be hurt, you know, unless you want to be possibly taken advantage of or maybe just dissatisfied. I mean, they don't have to completely crush you for you to know that you should not have trust them. Well, when we get to know the Lord in his character, his attributes, his never changing character, right? Then we can trust him more freely. Then we can trust him more fully. But that's not going to happen overnight. So I just want to encourage you to continue to put effort into your spiritual maturity, into your spiritual life, so that when the heat comes, you won't be anxious. You won't be fearful. You will just know that the Lord is there with you, that he is going through it with you, that he has a plan, that he has a solution, or that he at least has a perspective, an idea of what we are going through and knows exactly 
how it's going to end. There's no one else in your life who knows everything that's going to happen, who knows every step you're going to take, every challenge you're going to face, every victory you're going to have, only the Lord. So he's the one who we should be trusting. He's the one who we should be putting our faith and our confidence in so that we can live a life that is joyful. We're going to go through things that are unpleasant. We're going to go through things that, that cause us to fear, that cause us to doubt, that cause us to get angry. But we can't misplace that trust and put it into things that we can see, taste, touch, feel, right? We have to keep that trust where it belongs. That trust belongs in the Lord, regardless of what is going on in our life. The Lord is at work. Even if we can't see it, he is working. So I pray that that word encourages you to spend time on your spiritual growth, on your spiritual maturity. Go through the cycle, right? And you will be blessed. Amen. Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much, Lord, for your word. We thank you that you want to bless us, Lord, that you desire to bless us and to cause us to bear good fruit in our life. But Lord, we do have to participate in the growth. We have to participate in the spiritual growth, the spiritual maturity, so that you can just use us, so that you can pour out all the blessings that you have created us for, Lord. And we just thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope that word encourages you. If it does, please like and share and subscribe to my channel and subscribe to my newsletter below so that you never miss an encouraging word. I put a new video out every Wednesday. All right, take care. God bless.